good afternoon and all i'm arvi kiran assistant professor department of mechanical engineering today in this video lecture i am going to discuss about the problem on instantaneous center method so in the previous class we have discussed about the instantaneous center method and today we are going to define a problem on the instantaneous center method so this is the given problem so first of all study the question carefully and then we are going to solve the problem so locate all the instantaneous centers of the slider crank mechanism shown in the figure the length of the crank ob and connecting rod ab are 100 and 400 mm length respectively if the crank rotates clockwise with an angular velocity of 10 radians per second find first one the velocity of the slider a and second one is the angular velocity of the connecting rod ab so this is the defined question here so we have to find out what is the velocity of the slider a and what is the angular velocity of the connecting rod ab so these are to the with a find out is so first of all let's see the inputs given in that so look at all the instantaneous centers of the slider crank mechanism the lengths of the crank ob and connecting rod ab are 100 mm and 400 mm respectively so this 100 mm is of the length ob that is ob is the crank here so the crank length is given as 100 mm so and i am converting it to the meters that is 0.1 meters next if the crank rotates clockwise with an angular velocity of 10 radians per second so the crank is taken as ob then the angular velocity for the crank is that is omega of ob is equal to 10 radians per second so we are taking it as omega of ob that is angular velocity of the crank is taken as 10 radians per second and next we have another value that is 400 mm so what is the length of ab so that is the length of the connecting rod is taken as 400 mm so therefore ab is of length 400 mm so therefore ab is equal to so the length of ab is equal to 400 mm and by converting it uh, we get the value 0.4 meters so by converting we got the value as 0.4 meters 
then we used to draw the diagram of the given slide of that mechanism so this is the given diagram so this is the fixed center o and ob is the crank here so ob is the crank and ab is the connecting rod so ab is the connecting rod and AO is the fixed axis. AO is the fixed axis here. So we are drawing the diagram. So this is the fixed axis and it has an angular velocity of 10 radians per second, which is moving on the clockwise direction. That is the clockwise direction. So, from this attainment, we are going to find the velocity of the slider A and angular velocity of the connecting rod AB. Therefore, velocity of the slider OB, that is, velocity of the slider OB is taken as, that is, velocity of B. That is taken as angular velocity of the OB into length of the link OB. So, we know the angular velocity of the OB, that is, 10 radians per second and the length of the link OB that is 100 mm, we are taking it as 0.1 meter and in total the velocity of B is taken as 1 meter per second. So the velocity of B is pointed as 1 meter per second. So therefore we are substituting this in the capital N value. So we know the formula capital N is equal to small n into n minus 1 by 2. So this is the calculated formula. So in that we have substituting the values that is 4 into 4 minus 1 by 2 that is Total we got six value. That is total number of instantaneous centers for the locations is six total six. So then we have to draw the instantaneous centers for the locations. So already we got three links. So first one is the fixed link that is the O. Second one is the crank here that is OB is the second link. AB is the third link that is the connecting rod. And fourth link is the A that is the slider. So these are the four links in the slider crank mechanism. And next we are going to find the remaining two centers that is the centers from I1 core and velocity of B. So already we have find the velocity of B as 1 meter per second. Then we need to find the centers from the I1 core. Thereby I am taking this diagram so I am locating this diagram. So this is the point of section that is I want to next this is the I34 which connects the third link and the fourth link and next it is the I23 which connects the crank and the cutting rod and this is the I1 code which is independent So these are the different links. So 
So next we have to draw the circle diagram based upon it. So draw a circle of your own length and position the centers as 1, 2, 3 and 4. That is the links here and by connecting these diagonals we got total 6 positions. That is we got here total 6 positions. So from the diagram I13 and I24 are unknown values. So we need to find that one. So from the formula we have drawn this diagram with the constraint values of the instantaneous centers, which is at the different points A, B, C, and D. So the fixed link is taken as O, well, then the other link is taken as A and B. And then we need to find these I13 and I24, these two points. So we need to find these two points that is I13 and I24. I13 and I24. So we need to find that one. So firstly, the unknown values are I14 at intercepted values. We got the velocity of B as one meters per second and remaining are the slider tank mechanism which is at the different positions and we need to find these two positions that is i13 and i24 so to implement these we look for the quadrilaterals in the circle diagram and form the diagonals in this circle diagram. So, whenever we are going to form the or looking for the quadrilaterals, we are going to form this from the diagonals. So, clearly each diagonal that is say 1, 2, 3 and 2, 2, 4. So, these 1, 2, 3 will form two adjacent triangles that is 1, 3 and 4. So, this is one triangle and 1, 2, so these are the two adjacent triangles formed by the diagonal 1, 3 and from the diagonal 2, 4 also this can be produced by so 2, 3, 4 and 2, 1, 4. So these are the two triangles, two adjacent triangles formed from the diagonal 2, 4 and that in each diagonal this will form two pairs of three bodies in relative motion. So that is three bodies means two, three, four and two, one, four is two bodies and one, three, four and one, two, three is another bodies. So in each diagonal, it can form two pairs of three bodies in relative motion. To each of which and it can be applied. So known data can be applied.
and next we used to find the i13 point and the i24 point so in the i13 point it will lie on the intersection of i12 and i23 so it will form between the i12 and i23 so these are the two points and the extension of these two points is the i13 and next one we used to find the i24 value so this is the i24 it will be the intersection of the i12 and i14 so i12 and i14 so this is the i4 over section it has also three bodies that is 1 2 2 and 4 so 1 2 4 is the intersection bodies and it has 1 2 3 and i23 and i34 as the intersection bodies that is three bodies 2 3 4 is produced if necessary so if necessary they are to be produced but in the intersection of 1 3 it will has a value from the three bodies of intersection that is i12 and i23 which has three bodies in it that is 1 2 and 3 That is one, two, and three, and the instantaneous centers for the three bodies is one, three, and four. So one, three, and four produced if necessary. So these are the two points to be defined. So therefore, I one three at the rate of a is equal to. So I one three we get the value, measurable value. so we are going to measure directly on this diagram so we are taking it as 460 mm so we got the value as 0.46 meters so that is the distance of interest instantaneous center of the point 13 from A point that is from here. So from here, the distance of the point one three is taken as four sixty mm, and next we is converted into meters, and next we are taking from the point B that is instantaneous center of one three from the point B. So from the point B we got the distance as five sixty mm. So it has a value of zero point five six meters. 0.56 meters then ab is having a complex motion which is equivalent to q rotation about instantaneous center of 13 so which is having an absolute q value of the instantaneous center 1 and 3 so first of all we are going to find the velocity of the slider a so let velocity of a is equal to velocity of slider a we know the formula as velocity of a is equal to sorry velocity of a by instantaneous center of 1 3 into a is equal to velocity of b by instantaneous center of 1 3 into b so this is the formula and then we are going to substitute the values in it so substitute the given values so here we know the velocity of b and we got the values of i13 into a and I one three into B, so we got these three values. Therefore, velocity of A has to be obtained to the left side. So it is taken from the to the left side, and these two values have been sent to the right side. 
is the multiplication of velocity of d so substitute the values in the formula So by substituting, we got the velocity of A as 0.82 meters. That is 1 into 0.46 by 0.56. That is 0.82 meters per second. So from that point we got the values as 0.82 meters per second. So next we need to find the angular velocity of the connecting rod AB. So we have already defined the value velocity of A and we need to find the angular velocity of the connecting rod AB. So, the angular velocity of AB is taken as omega of AB. So, omega of AB is equal to velocity of B by instantaneous center of 1, 3 into B. So, velocity of B is 1. And instantaneous of one center of one three into B is zero point five six. So in total, we got the value as one point seven eight radians per second. One point seven eight radians per second. So this is the defined value for the diagram. So from the given diagram problem, we need to find or we need to draw the diagram first properly from the given figure. So this is the given figure. We need to find the and develop these figures according to our skill. So we will we, we are going to take any type of skill according to our Sortable scale. We are going to take it in the sortable scale and then it, yeah, we are going to develop this. So that is the given question for the instantaneous center method. Now we are going to take the instantaneous center location for a given mechanism. 
so for a given mechanism how do we find the how do we are going to find the location of the instantaneous center in this mechanism so there is some procedure for it we need to follow this procedure so first of all determine the number of instantaneous centers that is capital n by using the relation so by using the proper relation we are going to determine the instantaneous centers so the relation is capital n is equal to small n into n into n minus 1 by 2 so we already know the formula where small n is taken as number of pins so therefore by substituting so we have taken an example there so this is the example taken here so it consists of two adjacent triangles and in between there is a quadrilateral that is abcd is a quadrilateral with the four links that is a four bar chain so directly we are substituting the values that is n is number of links so number of links is taken as four so we are substituting the four value in that that is 4 into 4 minus 1 by 2 that is 6 next make a list of all the instantaneous centers in this mechanism so then we are going to list the instantaneous centers in the provided in this mechanism then i am going to draw this table with the links and the total instantaneous centers provided to it so i'm taking the four links as four bar so this is the four links here 1 2 3 and 4 so i'm taking the instantaneous centers so in total that is in total six instantaneous centers so from the first link this is the first link we got two points here so that is i12 that is the point and i14 and in between that we got the instantaneous center as i13 so in total from the first link we got these three links i12 i13 and i14 so from the remaining links also take the instantaneous center in the same pattern so from the link 2 Link three and link four take the same kind of proportionates from these three links also. so from the second link we got 2 3 and 2 4 so this is the second link so we got already got 1 2 so we are, take, uh, we are taking this we are taking only i 2 3 and i 2 4 so these are the two links from the second link and from the third link this is the third link Already I two three and I one three has been taken, so 
so uh, there is only one link that is i3 port only and from the fourth link there is no link so already i1 port is taken i3 port is taken and i13 also taken so no link is from the fourth link So I'm taking gas, the same points. And next, we are going to the next step. Now we are going to locate these three types of instantaneous centers. That is the fixed instantaneous center, permanent instantaneous center, and neither permanent or neither fixed. So now we are going to locate these centers. So locate the fixed and permanent instantaneous centers by inspection. So we have already known that from the figure I12 and I14 are the fixed instantaneous centers. So this is the I12 and I14. So this is the I want for this is the fixed link that is the first link is the fixed one so we are taking this as the fixed instantaneous center and I23 and I24 so the link 3 is permanent instantaneous centers so that is the I23 and I34 are the permanent instantaneous centers here so that is the connecting rod here so i23 and i34 so these are the permanent instantaneous center and next locate the neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous centers by Kennedy's theorem. So we are going to define this Kennedy's theorem by using this circle diagram. So we have already known about the Kennedy's theorem. So this is about the Kennedy's theorem. If three bodies move related to each other, they have three instantaneous centers and they will lie on a straight line. So if we are going to take three centers, that is three bodies, which is moving relative to each other, they have three instantaneous centers and they lie on a straight line. So they lie on the straight line. So that is the theorem based and we have taken directly. So we are taking the fixed or permanent instantaneous centers. And this is done by the circle diagram. So mark points on a circle equal to the number of links in a mechanism. So we are going to mark with these points like this. So we are going to mark these points 1, 2, 3 and 4 on a circuit. So take your own suitable scale there.
So by taking the isotopal scale, we will mark these points on the circle that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So mark 1, 2, 3, 4 on the circle and then join the points by solid lines. Okay. We are going to join the points by the solid line to show that these centers are already formed. So we have drawn these straight lines to each and every point of the ring to know that we have already joined the points. So therefore, the location has been done in the circle diagram with the location of four points, that is four links, which is intimated in the diagram. And we are then going to join the diagonals. So these are the diagonals of the diagram. So in the circle diagram, these lines are 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 1, 4 to indicate the centers. I12, I23, I34 and I14. So these are the total four centers. So these are the total four centers in the diagram which has the instantaneous centers of I12, I23, I34 and I14. So by locating the points, we are going to construct these lines. So therefore, we got the four instantaneous centers from the four distinct points, one, two, three, and four. So, so, this is the circle diagram which we have drawn through these four points 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we have got instantaneous center of 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 1 within the circle diagram. And next, in order to find the other two instantaneous centers. So in order to find the next instantaneous centers, that is the other instantaneous centers, join two such points that the line joining them forms two adjacent triangle in the circle diagram. So in this circle diagram, we are going to draw these two lines. That is by this, they are going to form the two adjacent triangles. So one com one and three and two and four. So these are the two lines we are going to draw. And therefore, we got the triangles I three four sorry one three four and two three four. So we got the triangles as 
1, 243 so then we are going to draw this four bar mechanical diagram is a quadrilateral and locate the instantaneous center at the point I13 and I24. So that is the procedure given procedure for drawing the instantaneous centers of locating the points and the centers in the circle diagram. So by using this circle diagram, we are going to locate these points. So generally we are going to first draw the circle with a suitable scale and measurement and then we are going to take four points on the circle and then we are going to draw these four points and forms the two triangles with the diagonals enclosed in it so from the diagonals enclosed in it we are going to draw the points So, by this, I am ending this video lecture. Thank you.